Hey guys, welcome to part 7 of the playthrough of Sonic 3D Blast for the Sega Genesis. So, so in the last part we went through Gene Gadget Zone, and now in this part we're going to be moving on into the second to last level, or probably the final main level in this game, and that is, uh, that is Panic Puppets. And um, apparently things are actually different this time. The, the Flickies are not, the Flickies are not in Eggman, the Flickies are not actually in the they're not actually in the bad mix, but this time they're actually in the t they're actually in the tubes. Um, I think it explains it actually explains in the in the manual for this game that that Eggman didn't have time to. I guess it because of the fact that um that Sonic was actually I think because of the fact that Sonic was catching up to Eggman. Yeah, uh, Eggman did not apparently Eggman did not have time to put the rest of the figures in the robots. Maybe because of, maybe because of the fact that he's that he's uh, creating a secret weapon, so I have to say that's pretty neat. But uh, yeah, anyway, you can actually spin up, spin dash up here, or you can just use that platform. Okay. So yeah, this stage is kind of, kind of, pretty much the same thing as Gene Gadget, uh, because they're like there are still electric, there are still holes where the electricity comes from, uh, and there are still turrets that shoot in all four directions. And uh, what the heck? Yeah, that's what I was talking about in the last part. For some reason, you can face through the platform. I don't know why that always happens. Alright, we'll do this. There we go. Alright, and we get this clicky. Yeah, um... Yeah, those those platforms, when they move, they actually make the same sound effect as the... As the ghost from San... San... Sandopolis song from Sonic Green Knuckles. So... Yeah, because... Yeah, because... I think, uh... Yeah, because, uh... I think they've, uh, they've actually reused, uh, some of the sound effects, oh my god. But, uh, they, they've actually reused, uh, the sound of, some of the sound effects for Sonic Green Knuckles, like, not only, not only the extra life, but, um, yeah, pl I think plenty of others, so, yeah. Okay, we got all five, so, yeah. Right. Yeah, you still have to, you still have to collect the flickies in order to, uh, fight, in order to, uh, get the, the in order to, uh, get the dimension room. Yeah, alright. Anyway, you can actually spin Nash through here, and you can find an extra life. So yeah, and extra life. Okay, somehow the music was kind of glitching out right there. Alright, anyway, let's come through here. Oh yeah, if you actually play uh, the Director's Cut version, the DX version, yeah, you can actually find Knuckles, uh, you can actually find Knuckles in that level. Alright, anyway, you pull that lever. Uh, because uh, for some reason there isn't an animation of um, Sonic pulling the lever. You can just like you can just walk o walk over it. So that's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, but if you play the the DX version, the remake version, you can actually find Knuckles right there. Yeah, yeah. Because apparently in the, in this in the in the original version, you know, which I'm playing. Yeah, uh, I think the last stage where you can find Tails, Knuckles, and the Sonic icons will are actually are in the Volca Volcano Valley Zone, and Gene Gadget. And in this stage, you cannot find them at all. So, so you only have to um, Volcano Valley to, to to get all the Chaos Emeralds. Anyway, we're on Act Two, and uh, another th and we have another new thing that's changed. Um, yeah, instead of uh, we don't actually have to grab the flip. We don't actually we don't actually have to save the Flicky. So yay! <laughs> I guess and that's pretty neat because uh you know because I've seen many like uh yeah because a lot of people are saying that um that this is what the game should have been in the first place and um yeah see if it's no longer so you have collecting the flickies in this act is no longer mandatory so yeah we can just go through point A to point B right and here we go yep like I said in the first part when you have the blue shield you don't take damage from electrical attacks so yep a session it's a session Essentially the, essentially the light, uh, the lightning shield, right? And oh my God, I love this soundtrack so much. It sounds so amazing. Like uh, I think it sounds similar to um the boss, to uh, to the Sonic Three boss theme. But uh, yeah, I I love it. It's it sounds so amazing. Probably my third favorite soundtrack in the game, behind uh, Diamond Dust and um, Diamond Dust and Gene Gadget. Here, come through here and get an extra life. Okay, there was there was uh, the spider bot here. There was a spider bot here, but he somehow disappeared. That was weird. Alright, there you go. 
And holy cow, look at that. Just like in Sonic CD, in uh, Stardust Speedway, they actually show a giant Eggman statue. So yeah, that's pretty, I guess that's pretty neat because, uh, you know, because I think this is pretty, I think this is, uh, considering that this is uh, Eggman's, uh, Eggman's real base of operations, he actually makes, uh, he actually makes a giant statue of himself. Okay. So yeah, pretty deep detail, just like in the uh, start of Speedway in Sonic CT, if you're in the present or in the past. Alright. Alright. Gotta watch out for the turrets. Yeah, I just noticed that, um, uh, yeah, the turrets are actually, are actually blue instead of red. But yeah, you better be careful about this part because you, you wait for that platform to get you up there, and you can actually get hit by that, uh, by that spider bot, and that get, that gets... And yeah, that I got so mad at that, like, because that that actually happened to me a couple of times. But uh, surprised we got it done the first try. All right, there we go. Got to get the mines out of the way. Okay, and here we go. We're gonna go into the statue's nose, which pretty much sounds disgusting, but but uh, yeah, but it's not, but not really. We're just going into it, into the chute. All right, so here we are on this boss battle. And it's pretty tough because, yeah, because this goes on for this goes on for for like three phases. So yeah, what you have to do here is that, yeah, oh, uh, as soon as it detects you, like as soon as uh, yeah, as soon as it detects you, you have to it's like uh before, like before uh, when it tries to hit you, you have to duck, you have to dodge it, you have to dodge out of the way, and then you got to hit the the blue light that's blinking. So. Here we go. Whoa, that was close. But yeah, I see most people. They just uh, simply, like when they when it's about to hit them, they just uh, they just simply walk out of the way. But what I like to do is that I just like to spin. I usually just like spin spin that thing out of the way. I, that's how I that's how I always do it. All right. All right, on to the second phase, and this one is where he fires um, uh, a a homing flamethrower, which is pretty much similar to Volcano Valley's boss, but. Yeah, yeah. As soon as yeah, as soon as the, as soon as he, as soon as Eggman, as soon as Eggman shoots a flamethrower, uh, you just gotta oh crap, uh, you just gotta hit the hit the blue light. Okay. Here we go. Alright, bam. Uh, it should be the final hit. There we go. Okay, just got some rings real quick, and now onto the last phase. Right here in this phase is that um yeah he shoots a couple of ball he shoots a couple of balls that bounce all over the place but uh yeah, there you go you just gotta hit it just as soon as he does it so yeah yeah there's one annoying part because uh when you try to when you try to hit the the blue spot yeah you might end up you could end up missing it and then you could and then you could end up hurting yourself yeah that's what I found most annoying like uh. That's what I found most annoying about this boss, but uh, but since I'm since I'm very familiar, but since I'm much better at this game, uh, yeah, I found it pretty easy. But there we go, guys. We we beat the boss of Panic Puppet Zone. All right. So there we go. It took us two minutes. So yeah, it was pretty hard when I did this the first time, but now it's pretty easy. And there we go. We just took down took down the robotic statue, I think. All right. And there we go. We did it. We've got all chaos emeralds and prepare to fight the final weapon. Alright, but we'll, we're gonna be doing that in the next part, folks. So thank you, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, and if you don't, and if you actually, and if you don't have the if you actually don't have the chaos all seven chaos emeralds, that would actually be the final boss of the game. So. Yeah, but um, yeah, that would actually be the final boss of the game. So, yeah, and then and then um and then, and I think in the in the other version, in the different version of that scene, Eggman says uh Eggman actually says that he'll con conquer the world at any time. And then and then and then and then he says see you again, see you as see you soon, Sonic. So, yeah, that's uh that's apparently what the bad news about it. Then that's the end of the game. But um, yeah. So that's it for this part, folks. For the next parts, it's gonna be the finale where we're gonna be facing against uh, Eggman's uh, Eggman's even stronger robots. But uh, well, not really. But we'll see in the next part. So, 
anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, and have a great rest of your day.